Hey, how's it going to do the Magna Veil? And today I'm going to be talking about how the Toronto Raptors can beat the Golden State Warriors. Now, what I'm going to be getting into for this video is going to be pretty much what I got into a few days ago where I said the Raptors could beat the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, in that video, I actually believed that the Toronto Raptors would beat the Milwaukee Bucks, and that's what they ended up doing. Now, do I think Toronto will be beating the Golden State Warriors? I don't think they're going to win. I'm not a Golden State Warrior fan or a Toronto Raptors fan. I'm just beginning some reasons why I think Toronto Raptors could beat the Golden State Warriors, but they're pretty much going to have to play a perfect series in order to do so. I do think they have a punchers or fighters chance to beat the Warriors, but I think they're very big underdogs as well. So I mean, I think there's a little bit of a chance, more of a chance than there has been in the past few years. But yeah, I'm be getting into four reasons why I think the Raptors could actually beat the Golden State Warriors. So without further ado, without rumin on too much, let's get right into this video. Alright, so my first reason for his video is going to be that they have to take advantage of the games that Kevin Durant will be out. As KD will miss at least the start of the NBA Finals, which the reports are saying, so the Raptors are going to have to take advantage of these games and at least win half of them. So if he misses two games, they have to win one. If he misses one, they have to win that one. Because the second he comes back, they're going to have to stick Kawhi on him instead of Steph Curry or someone like that, and it's going to make them a thousand times harder to beat. So when, when, as long as Kevin Durant is out, the Raptors have to jump on that opportunity. It's not an opportunity that uh, many other teams are going to be getting in the NBA Finals, and they're going to have to take advantage of this because they're going to have to play so much harder to beat the Warriors when Kevin Durant does come back. So, I mean, as long as he's out, they have to take advantage of those games, and I think this is definitely one of the biggest reasons of how they could beat the Warriors. If they can take advantage and win one of the two games at Golden State, that would be a huge momentum shift because the series doesn't start till a team wins on the road, and if they could win their first or second game against the Warriors, that would be a ginormous ginormous advantage for the Toronto Raptors. And now for my second reason for his video is going to be that their role players have to hold their own. As now Kyle Lowry, Danny Green, Pascal Siakam, they don't have to win their matchups because obviously Lowry and Danny Green are way overmatched against Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and Siakam is probably about the same type of player as Draymond Green. So I mean they don't have to win their matchups. They just have to hold their own because I mean as long as they hold their own Kawhi can do his thing. Kawhi can carry him. But as long as Lowry doesn't get blown out by 20 points, Green doesn't let Klay Thompson go for 30 and Siakam doesn't get completely outmanned and get let Draymond Green get in his head or anything like that they should have a chance because I mean if Lowry's getting blown out now Ka now Kawhi has to worry about beating Kevin Durant and Curry and that's just not going to happen but as long as Lowry is holding his own against Curry which I think he can do Draymond and I think uh, Danny Green can hold his own against Klay Thompson and Siakam can hold his own against um Draymond Green, I think all that is very, very possible, and as long as they do that, they are going to have a chance, because if they can keep all of them in check, and it's just Kevin Durant versus Kawhi Leonard, yes, Kevin Durant's a better player, but Kawhi Leonard is not very far behind him at all, they're definitely on the same level, so I mean... It's, it's going to really come down to Kawhi and Kevin Durant, but if those role players cannot hold up, it's going to be an absolute bloodbath. So those, those role players are not going to have to hold up one game, but they're going to have to hold up for a seven games, most likely. So, I mean, it's going to be very, very hard for them to do, but that's one of the huge, huge things that they have to do. They can't just let Kawhi carry them like they did in a few, ser a few games this uh, playoffs. They're going to have to step up and have to play probably their best basketball of their career all at once. And now my third reason for his video is going to be their bench has to outplay the Golden State Warriors bench. As a big reason why the Warriors have been so successful since Kevin Durant has been out with injury is because they went back to their old motto, which is strength in numbers. As they've been having people like Jordan Bell, Quinn Cook, Sean Livingston, Andre Iguodala, and a whole bunch of Kevon Looney, a whole bunch of people like that have been playing very, very good for the Warriors. And Steve Curry knows how to let them play and puts out random lineups that play very, very well together. So the strength in numbers is going to have to be taken advantage, advantage of, as I do think that the Toronto Raptors bench is stronger than the Warriors, so what they're going to have to do is let Powell, Van Vliet, and the players like that really go up against the players like Jordan Bell, Quinn Cook, and uh, Iggy, Livingston, and all their players like that, that the Toronto Raptors bench definitely has to outplay them, at least match match the intensity that the uh, Warriors bench brings. As I mean, if the Warriors bench is outscoring your bench, that's going to be very hard, as they already, their starters are already very good at offense, very good on defense, and they're going to be very hard to keep up with offensively, so if the Raptors bench is also getting outscored by the uh, by the um, Golden State Warriors bench it's going to make it a very extremely hard to beat them especially in four games so I mean I think their benches are gonna have to play a huge huge role in this and have to outplay and make the strength of numbers in Toronto the Toronto Raptors favor instead of the Golden State Warriors favor but now my fourth reason for this video is going to be that Kawhi has to keep up with Kevin Durant. Now, like I said earlier, I do think Kevin Durant and Kawhi Leonard are on the same level of skill and that they are both very, very good players. 
but I think Kevin Durant is definitely better, and when KD inevitably does come back for the series, because there's no way Kevin Durant's missing the entire final series from an injury that happened in the second round. So, I mean, when Kevin Durant does come back for this series, it's going to be very, very hard and very, very important that Kawhi Leonard can keep up with Kevin Durant scoring and defensively. As I mean, Kevin Durant, I mean, Kawhi Leonard is a better defender than Kevin Durant, and is probably one of the only defenders in the league that can actually keep up with Kevin Durant scoring, but yes, despite of how great of a defender Kawhi is, there's almost no chance Kevin, Kevin Durant's going to get shut down, and he's probably going to still go for 20 to 30 points a game in this finals. So, I mean, Kawhi Leonard's going to have to score, and he is a very a very good scorer, Kawhi Leonard. He can cut, shoot mid-range, and shoot threes. He's very good at doing everything on offense, but still, it's going to be very hard to keep up with one of the best scorers to ever live and that ever played the game of the basketball. So, it's going to be very hard for him to compete, but in order for this team to compete, Kevin uh, Kawhi Leonard, the Raptors' best player, is going to probably have to play better than Kevin Durant in this series. But of course, you guys have been for this video. So, comment below. Do you agree with me? Do you think that the Raptors can beat the Warriors? Do you think that these are the ways that they will beat the Warriors? Do I miss any reasons on here? Our thoughts in the comment section below. And if you did like the video, point like button, subscribe button, that would mean the absolute world to me. And I hope you have a blessed day. Good, I have a blessed day. So, you need to have a blessed day. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Boo. Blah.